Uh, hello guys, welcome to Data Science from Scratch. In this video, I want to uh, talk about polynomial regression. Uh, so first of all, let's start with importing the libraries. Import pandas as pd, import numpy as pd, and import matplotlib dot matplot as pld. Okay, so the uh, data we will be working is uh, downloaded from a Kegel website, uh, which is the uh, characteristics of the fish. Uh, so let's have a look to the data. In this data, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six dependent values and uh, one independent values or weight. So we will be um, uh, fitting the model, uh, this six features to the weight. So let's have a look at how we can uh, how it is uh, polynomial regression is best fit for this type of the problem. First, let's just uh, plot the features with the independent values like suppose data dot uh, weight and data dot weight. Okay. Okay, so here we have the W. If you can see here, you can see here that line, that fitting line. This is not a linear line, right? This is a non-linear. So we cannot solve this using the linear regression. If we solve this, our uh, maybe the uh, MSc or uh, maybe the uh, other uh matrix or r square matrix values this will be very high so what would be best fit for this type of problem polynomial regression will give we, which will give us a uh, non-linear line to minimize the error okay so let's start with polynomial regression polynomial regression we can solve it using linear regression just we have to do some uh, uh feature extraction or a uh, feature addition so we will add more some more features uh, so that that's how we can uh, solve polynomial regression using the linear regression okay so as we can see in the first column species we have some uh, data type of subject type so we will have to change this to numerical we can do that using uh, data dot replace have a function of replacing data frame okay replace we can say that pd dot unique values from data dot species okay and replace this with uh numbers which is one two three four five six and we have seven different species so we will replace them with seven different numbers from one to seven and we can say that in place in place two so it will uh save the change now let's look at it so here you can see uh, the first species has changed to one and the last species has get the number of seven okay so after that uh sorry you can like this sense so we have uh, done all this thing then let's change this data frame to numpy array so uh, we uh, would it would be easier for us to deal with the data we can name the new variable as data array is equal to np dot array data data and from that array we can uh, 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 take the dependent values in data array in one variable and independent values to another variable okay so it will be all the columns up to the last column and our independent values will be data array all the rows and only the last column okay so let's have a look to the shape of the data let's check white of shape okay so previously we had seven columns now six columns are uh, uh for dependent values and last column is for independent value so as you can see that the um, y uh, variables or y uh, values it is non-dimensional it is the less type of the data so we can change it to array by adding one more column using this function np dot new access so if you do that then it will take the shape of an 
array okay so after doing this after doing this we will change the data to polynomial form what do we mean by changing the data to polynomial form it means like if we have a data of like suppose x1 and x2 okay these two variables are there okay x1 has one values uh, 3 4 5 and x2 has another values so for polynomial regression we will just add more features more features means if the degree of the your polynomial degree is 2 we it means that we will add one more column x1 square another column x2 square and another column is x1 times x2 okay so we will be adding three more columns if you have like more features like not only two features if you have suppose x1 x2 and x3 suppose you have x1 x2 and x3 and your polynomial degree is 2 then you will have x1 square okay x2 square then x3 square then x1 times x2 okay x1 times x3 okay this is uh, times okay and then x2 times x3 so how many features we added one two three four four five and six more features we have added okay so after getting all these features then we will uh, fit these features to a linear regression problem then we will uh, get a polynomial regression model okay so doing this by scratch is a bit uh, a bit time consuming so there is a function in from scilearn then we will be using that function to get the polynomial features for this problem okay so we can import that function from scalar dot uh, preprocessing preprocessing import sorry import polynomial features okay polynomial features we can uh, save it in another variable of polynomial pool is equals to polynomial features then we can put attributes here okay first attribute will be degree which we will specify the degree how many degrees we want we can put any degree we will put degree 2 for this problem and uh, uh, other features like include bias if we say include bias then it will add that term of bias uh, in these features which is a column of ones only and if we say this false then it will not add the uh, bias uh, column then we can add it later okay so this will be our pulley then we can change our x uh, value or independent values to x pulley and we can say pulley dot fit transfer x okay now let's have a look to the x pulley's shape how many columns we have added okay so previously we had six columns only now we have 27 columns if we say if we say include bias is equals to true then we will have 28 columns you can see here we will have 28 columns and the first column of the x poly will be only ones okay this will be you can see this is one this is one this is one and this, the first column will be only one so in here we will not add the bias will later on add by ourselves okay now you can see there is no uh, one there is only a one for uh, first some uh, rows or one then you can see that the last rows are seven because this is the uh, species column okay so this was for our x poly now we have transformed our features from linear to non-linear features now after that we can use the uh, code for linear regression which already i have made a uh, uh, video on that so you can go through that and use that code also so here on i will only copy paste the same code for these features okay here i have the code we will uh, specify the weight we will initialize the weight initialize the bias here we will we have to initialize the bias because the bias is not included in the uh, features okay if the bias is included then we will not add this 
then we will not add this bias okay we will not initialize the bias that bias will be included inside the w okay so after that you will uh, specify the learning rate will open a for loop then y is y predicted is equal to np dot dot product of x stand w plus b then the, we will calculate the gradient descent of w gradient descent of b then we will uh, change w and b based on the gradient descent and the learning rate and then finally after finishing the loop then we will calculate the msc so before that the most important thing is that we have to standardize the values why we have to standardize the values if you see here the values are very different so the first column if you see this is one this is 242 this is 23 this is 900 and this is 137 this is 300 uh, something and it can be more than that also so the range of the values are very different so it can cause uh, some problems while fitting the model so before that what we have to do is we have to standardize the value for standardization we will be using z score standardizing method z score means like data x minus its mean over the standard deviation so it will bring the values between 0 to 1 okay so it has uh, some advantage over normalization okay so if, because normalization if you do normalization you will uh, take the mean max of all the array and some values uh, some values will be greater than one some values will be very less than one and it will not bring the values into a specific range of zero and one okay so uh, because of that this uh, z score standardization is a better uh, option for standardizing the values okay so we will be using this method so for standardizing we will be needing new values which we can get by using np dot okay np dot std which will be give us a standard deviation it's only and for access of zero okay it will take the columns uh, based on the columns uh mu okay now we can take the mean is equal to np dot mean of it's fully an axis of zero okay so now let's have a look of them now let's have a look to the mu dot shape and mean dot shape if you see both of them are in less shape so let's have let's one add one more column into dot new axis okay so it will be a type of array okay we have add one more column now let's standardize that we can say x stand is equals to okay x x poly minus mean dot transpose so it will be one well, the shape will be not will be 27 by 1 it will be 1 by 27 okay so each columns will each column will be uh, uh, will be subtracted from that it's from that specific column over mu dot transpose okay so now let's have a look to the x stand if we are getting the same shape as x poly okay so we are getting the same shape as x poly 159 samples with 27 column so now we have standardized the values uh we have the polynomial feature so everything is ready now we can run our model okay so i have put a learning rate of 0 0.01 with 10,000 iterations and now let's check the uh how the model will work okay so the result is 0 0.084 okay so we can uh we can uh what do you say we can test uh our model with the one model which uh scalar gives us we can say from scalar dot linear model import in regression model is equals to linear regression okay control enter below okay so we have done this also in our previous uh, video you can check that video also for more information we can fit that we can say x standardized okay and rest then we can uh, 
after fitting the model we can take the model coefficient and model intercept which is the bias and do a dot product then we'll get the predicted value then we can calculate the mean square value so let's run this model okay x is that not is that standard x to stand means x is standardized okay so the value from linear regression is 0 0.05 it means the uh, scalar model works a bit better than our model but our model is also giving a very close uh, msc values to one which was provided by scalar but if we do this for more iterations then we most we probably get a better results okay so this was about the polynomial regression please uh, uh, go through the uh, links which are provided for the uh, notebook and the data set you can practice this with yourself and you can uh, change the learning rate or the uh, number of iterations and then let me know what are the results you are getting thank you so much i hope you learned something new from this video and don't uh, forget to uh, like and subscribe to the page thank you so much